I think this IRS situation of, of targeting Tea Partiers and others uh, and harassing them uh, is, is going to turn into something uh, bigger than it already has. And I think that the, I think that the Washington is a, a little worried about it. Uh, especially, I think, the, the administration worried about it because IRS agents generally don't do anything they're not told to. This is pretty straightforward. If, in fact, uh, IRS personnel engaged in uh, the kind of practices that have been reported on uh, and were intentionally targeting uh, conservative groups, then that's outrageous, and there's no place for it. If you've got the IRS operating in anything less than a neutral and nonpartisan way, uh, then that is outrageous. It is contrary to our traditions, uh, and people have to be held accountable, and it's got to be fixed. All right, Mr. President, thank you very much. Couldn't agree more with you. Um, anyway, you, we'll, we'll find how far up that buck stops uh, on this one. On my telephone right now is Marty Davidoff. Uh, he's founder of the E. Martin Davidoff and Associates, IRS expert, CPAs. Hey, Marty, good morning. Good morning, John. How are you? All right. What's your, what's your take on this? Uh, my take on this is that there were errors made in 10, 2010 and 2011. The, the uh, draft of the appendix from the Treasury Inspector General's report shows that there was some uh, some of this going on, that there was targeting of, of certain names in exempt organizations coming through, the applications coming through Cincinnati. And essentially, those things, the IRS then took two years to try to grapple with it and get it changed and fix it. And the real, the real problem here is that the IRS was not forthcoming in letting the public know about this, when, especially when there were inquiries in 2011 and 2012. So I think the problem here is not that the IRS allowed this to continue because they shut it down as soon as leadership knew about it. The problem that I th see at this point is that the IRS was not forthright with Congress and other inquiries that were made saying that it's almost effectively denying that it ever happened. And I think that's the real problem there, and that's unfortunate. Well, of course, and that is exactly the, the question that uh, starts to uh, create and in many people's minds, ferment to the to the point of of saying who ordered this? Why was it being done? It had to come from even higher up, I think, than the acting agency chief uh, Stephen Miller, because why else would why else would he be quiet about it? Well, I think the the order the the the, the targeting was not a high level thing. I think the Cover up. Sometimes we've talked about from Watergate forward. You know, the cover up is worse than the than the actual incident. And I think the, the, essentially the cover up or the failure to disclose in public what was going on is 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 the real issue here. And it's the lack of transparency and the lack of candor in our government all ar all around. I don't think the the targeting was a high level thing. I think what happened is the the unit was looking for either somebody was prejudiced within the unit, and that quickly got resolved. And change according to the guidelines that, that you can find uh, links to uh, on ABC or Tax Prof blog if you want to know about this uh, more. And and it, it's really the, the lack of candor by the IRS leadership or or, or and, and not totally digging down and, and then getting this out and saying right away in 2011 2012. Listen, saying look, we had a problem. We've dealt with it, we fixed it, and we've disciplined the people who, you know, were doing this. Marty Davidoff on the line here, CPA and uh, tax expert. Do you think that this would have been uh, normal practice at other times uh, to, to take uh, names of at people uh, on applications for tax-exempt status uh, that said Tea Party or Patriot or the 9-12 group that is Glenn Beck's? And, and and to have them singled out by by whomever would that would you guess that that has happened before? Uh, it would be total guessing on my, on my part. I would really have no no idea. The one thing I do know is that the overwhelming majority of people who I, I run into in the IRS in the leadership of the IRS are, are dedicated, hardworking people. And uh, obviously, here some people made mistakes by not putting this out. The only reason we found out about this, I suspect, is 
that this is disclosed knowing that the uh, Treasury Inspector General uh, report, is this Treasury Inspector General just for tax administration, they call it TIGDA, uh, that this report was coming out, and I suspect they, they wanted to get some advanced uh, uh, work on it. And it would, would be tragic that uh, there, there were people uh, a year or two ago who just weren't forthright. And, and unfortunately, this happens a lot where there's not conversation in the IRS with, with things. I know that I work on practitioner groups, and when I go and ask questions in my practitioner groups, I'm told by there's a whole set of liaisons that I work with. And the liaison people are terrific, but I'm not, as they say, they don't let me speak to the program owner. They don't let us, us CPAs who are in these meetings, they don't let us, they often don't let us uh, go right to the program owner when we're suggesting that they make changes. They're saying, they, they come back with uh, notices and information a few years ago uh, on this. But here, it, it, it's clearly, and Tigda will, will put this out, clearly it's, it's a lack of candor on the leadership. Uh, the, the actual problem was resolved two to three years ago. Uh, as as somebody very much involved with and at the center of uh, the tax uh, collection and uh, amounts uh, to be paid uh, based on the, did I hear seventy two thousand pages of IRS rules and regs? Is that oh, there, 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 there's there's uh, uh, the, the regulations themselves are about eight very thin paper, very thick books. Uh, I, I never count, counted the pages. Yeah, I, th- I think I, I heard somebody say it was like 72,000 pages of, uh, of rules it could and be, And that doesn't include the millions of pages of cases that interpret that. Uh, it, it's a very complex thing. The IRS is asked to do a lot of things that are not directly related to tax collection, uh, such as issue rebates and, and, and deal with social things like earned income credits. And uh, They're asked to do a lot of that stuff. They have 110,000 people. It's, it's a large organization. Here, you, uh, Congress has had the wisdom uh, to cut, to tell uh, uh, the IRS to cut its budget during the sequester uh, so that the country can save money. So you t- take our tax collector and say, oh, don't collect money for seven days. They're going to have furlough. Hey, Marty, come on. It's brilliant. What a concept. <laughs> what a concept. Uh, we don't. We need more money, but we're not going to collect it, so we're going to cut back on the people. Unbelievable. Marty, thanks for your help this morning. Appreciate it. You're very welcome. Uh, thanks for Marty, Marty Davidoff.